everybody, Lurds here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today is the Beko washing machine. How to remove and clean the filter. Maybe your Beko washing machine is getting a bit smelly or the water's not draining properly. You might have a blockage in the filter. I'll show you how to remove it, give it a good clean and then put it back in again. Okay, let's get cracking. Now, if your washing machine has got a lot of water in it, be very careful when you take the filter out because there could be a lot of water. If it's draining properly, there shouldn't be that much water. Now, what you're going to need for today is your wife's toothbrush for the cleaning. Lugs, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the washing machine again? Um, no. And just a rag or a sponge because there will be some water. Now, you shouldn't need to turn off your mains cold water feed for this process. Now the pump filter is normally down on the bottom right hand side on Beko washing machines so just pull this flap open. What you can do is you can remove this flap here just to give you a bit of extra space to put your tray there to catch the water. This just unclips out towards you. This tray can actually collect the water but I find it's not big enough. Then put your tray as close as possible. And what you do is you've got this hose here just pull it out towards you and it's got a bung stopper in the end. Now get your tray ready. So remove that bung and then just start letting the water drain into your tray. And I can tell you now, this water is a bit smelly, so it's obviously not draining properly. It really is a bit stinky. As soon as you've almost filled that tray up, you can put the bung back in. And you may have to do this three, four, maybe five times. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to activate the child lock on this Beko washing machine. Now for the second time. Just remove that bung again, and just fill this tray up. Now I will cut this footage short. I filled up this tray three or four times. Now if your washing machine is not draining water properly and it's full out of water, this could be a long process, but it's very important that it doesn't go all over your kitchen floor, especially if you live in a block of flats, because the people underneath you will not be impressed. Let's put the bung back in, just empty this again. There's a link above now about how to disconnect a washing machine before you install a new one. So that's now completely empty. I can put the bung back in. Make sure you pop that bung all the way back in, push the hose back into the hole and then just clip it into that little clip there. Right. If you hadn't already moved that front tray, it's definitely worth unclipping it. I know we did this earlier, but just in case you didn't. Put your tray back under again. There will be some water coming out. There shouldn't be too much, but have a rag ready. Now my advice is turn it very slowly in case there's a lot of water in there. Now if there's something stuck in there, it could be quite hard to turn. So just keep turning it anti-clockwise, clockwise and anti-clockwise until it eventually comes out. This one is actually pretty good. But here's another one from a different machine that was full of all sorts. And as I took it out, the main culprit you'll find in a pump filter will be coins like this one. Or, hold on, what's that? This is what I found in this washing machine. Ah, uh, come on. And I don't wear hair clips, so someone in the house is in trouble. So we're back to the Beko washing machine here and actually this pump filter is looking pretty good. So put this in your washing up bowl, take your wife's toothbrush and just give that a really good clean. The only bit of dirt and debris I've found on this is just a bit of knotted hair. Not too bad at all. So chuck that in the bin. And now let's just give it a good scrub with your wife's toothbrush That's... and some hot soapy water. Just get off any mould and gunk off of there. And there's a link above now about how to install a brand new washing machine if this one is actually giving up the ghost. So give it a good scrub. 
and then it's ready to go back. Before it goes back in, just check the impeller propeller or the propeller impeller. <laughs> just make sure it turns freely. This one does. Now take your wife's toothbrush and just give this a really good scrub inside. You can also put a cloth in here just to get out any more dirt and debris. So you just want to make sure that this is in tip top sparkling condition. This is definitely a bit stinky, this washing machine, so it does need a good clean. Right, to put the filter back in, just line it up and it should go in very, very easily. Don't try and force it. It should be nice and smooth. And then this one locks in at about 11 o'clock and five o'clock. Now just put the cover back. There we go. Now, before I run a hygienically clean, fresh washing machine program, I'm just going to give the rest of the washing machine a clean. So that involves cleaning the dispenser drawer, cleaning the dispenser drawer area and checking the drum rubbers. Now, this one is pretty disgusting. So this isn't going to help the washing machine and the smells and getting on your clothes. So again, take your wife's toothbrush and we're just going to give this a really good scrub with hot soapy water. Get rid of all the monk and all the monk, all the muck and gunk and residue and washing powder residue and just give this a really good scrub. Again, I'll cut this footage short. There's a link above now where I review the Bosch Siri 4 Vario Perfect Eco Silence washing machine. That's a really good washing machine. And this is what it looks like afterwards, sparkling clean. And that's what it should look like all the time. Now, before you put it back, you definitely need to clean inside the dispenser drawer here. We've got lots of washing powder residue and mold as well. So take a hot, wet, soapy cloth, give that a good clean inside. You can also take a dental floss toothbrush or just a piece of wire clean any of these holes up here which is where the jets wash out the detergent and you can give it a scrub with your toothbrush but be very careful make sure you've got that cloth covering that hole because you don't want the toothbrush to drop down there and cause you a world of pain so now it's all in tip-top condition we can put the dispenser drawer back in and we'll just clean the rubbers just got a few bits of hair here. We can get, you can get a lot of dirt and residue built up in these drum rubbers. You wanna make sure that those holes are clear for the drainage. And then once we've done all that, we need to run a hygienically fresh drum clean washing program. If you haven't got one of those, it doesn't matter. What you do is take this Dr. Bettman's washing machine cleaner, any other washing machine cleaner will do, put that straight into the drum. If you haven't got a drum clean option, just set it to the hottest temperature that it will go on. And on this Beko washing machine, it's 90 degrees centigrade, a cotton wash, and I've set it to a quick wash. This will keep it hygienically fresh and kill any bacteria. Because obviously if you're doing lots and lots of washing at 30 or 40 degrees, that is not hot enough to clean any bugs and bacteria. Now open this flap back up because obviously earlier we've just cleaned the filter. You wanna make sure that that doesn't leak. So keep an eye on that while you're doing your washing machine program. Now be very careful to keep children away from this washing machine because it is a wash at 90 degrees centigrade, which is almost boiling point. And the glass on the front of that washing machine will get extremely hot and you won't even be able to touch it. So you don't want young children scalding their fingers on there. There's a link above now about the Bosch Siri 4 15 minute super wash, which is a really handy washing program. You can get your clothes clean in 15 minutes flat. We're near the end of the cycle here and it's already looking much cleaner, sparkling clean. It's just doing a rinse.
Again, no leaks. So that's looking really good. Now it's doing the final spin. No leaks at all, so I'm very happy with that. And hopefully when I eventually open the door after the washing program is finished, it's gonna smell fresh as a daisy. Tip top, sparkling fresh and hygienically clean. Right, the washing machine program is now finished. And when you finish the washing machine program, it's definitely worth just leaving the door slightly ajar and the dispenser drawer slightly open just to get a bit of ventilation in the machine to stop it smelling. And I tell you what, look at that. That looks amazing and it smells fantastic. And I tell you what, that definitely deserves a cup of tea. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.